With the fight to gut Obamacare gripping Capitol Hill, elected officials say they see a bright spot of bipartisanship on an unlikely front, criminal justice reform. Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley told Politico the languishing Sentencing Reform and Corrections Act is moving to the front burner, right after the committee vets Donald Trump's cabinet and Supreme Court nominees. The legislation passed committee last year, then stalled. If this bill was to go to the floor for a vote, it would receive 60, 70, 80 votes in the Senate. But right now, Mitch McConnell is refusing to put it on the floor. While this year's legislation isn't expected to be substantially different, the people who vote on it are. Three opponents off the committee. David Vitter of Louisiana is out of the Senate. David Perdue of Georgia is moving to another committee. And Alabama's Jeff Sessions is expected to be confirmed as attorney general. Stoking hopes the vote could exceed last year's 15-5 count this go-round and gain enough momentum to get heard on the floor. The federal legislation focuses on targeting high-level drug traffickers and reducing minimum penalties for low-level nonviolent offenders. New Jersey is a leader in the reform movement. What we must do is change the entire culture of corrections. New Jersey is taking a big step implementing bail reform this month. The state Senate tried reworking solitary confinement laws last year, an effort that would have limited the practice beyond the federal law. Well, the problem with solitary confinement is it's counterproductive. It creates mental illnesses. It breeds contempt and anger. And that's not what we want to happen while someone's in prison. It should be used very restrictively. While America is home to only 5% of the world's population, it's home to 25% of the world's prisoners. Reform advocates argue the system is economically unsustainable. New Jersey's prison population has been falling over the last decade at a rate greater than almost every other state. Crime is going down too. Between 2011 and 2014, the state crime rate fell by 20 percent, according to a report by the Brennan Center for Justice. I asked State Senator Ray Lesniak, a leader in the reform movement, if he expects national change under the Trump administration. I do, uh, because this is not a Democratic or Republican issue. It's not a liberal or conservative. As a matter of fact, liberals and conservatives join together to understand that we haven't been smart uh, by just warehousing prisoners. It costs a lot of money and it doesn't produce good results. So I, I'm very optimistic that Washington and Congress will follow New Jersey's lead and I'm proud of that. I spoke with criminal justice reform advocates outside government who were less sure. They said they're focusing on reform efforts at the state, local, and county level, where they say a return is more promising. In the newsroom, I'm Erin Delmore, NJTV News.